The Lafayette Squadron and The Red Baron are two modern films about the pilots of the First World War. Flyboys. A film about the events of the First World War. The story was written by Tony Bill, a pilot and aviation enthusiast. It tells about the conscription, training and battles of a group of young Americans who decided to join the Lafayette Squadron, formed in France in 1916. Escadrille N. 124 was deployed on April 20 at Luxeuil-les-Bains, France. The first major battle in which the squadron participated occurred on May 13, 1916 at the Battle of Verdun, and five days later Kiffin Rockwell scored the unit's first aerial victory. Not all American pilots were in the Lafayette squadron, other American pilots fought for France as part of the Lafayette Flying Corps. There is some confusion between pilots who were part of the Lafayette squadron or the Lafayette Flying Corps, especially in the movie Flyboys. These five French officers and 38 American pilots were part of the Lafayette squadron. The film ends with an epilogue, which tells about the fates of those soldiers who survived the war. The Red Baron. German-British biographical war film about Manfred Albrecht Freiherr von Richthofen, a fighter pilot who became the best expert pilot of the First World War with 82 enemy aircraft shot down. The Red Baron received after he painted the fuselage of his aircraft red, and due to his belonging to the German baronial noble class, Freiherr. It is still considered by the world community to be the Ace of Aces. So, of course, the air battles were spectacular and even too much, but why is the main character in the film, a certain Friedrich Sternberg? In Germany, even the film caused quite contradictory reviews, although to some extent everything is clear, because in Germany the glorification of war heroes has become a ban. But at the end of the film, in the credits, they still explain to us, during the First World War, many Jewish pilots fought on the side of Germany, they were represented by a fictional image of Friedrich Sternberg. To make such a reference to the best pilot in Germany, to use it in the title and description of the film, but in the end the film is not about the Red Baron. Here is another interesting historical moment, Hermann Goering fought under the direct command of Richthofen in his squadron, and after the death of the Red Baron, on April 21, 1918 in the Somme River area, he became its commander. Considering all the historical figures who could be used in the roles, the film could come out much better, especially if you work out the script. In my opinion, it is at least strange not to use it, and at the same time, the indignation of German viewers is understandable.